Hey y'all, welcome back. Well, today is the day. You guys have been requesting down in our comment section for months, if not years, for us to refurbish a pair of boots or shoes from this particular brand. Well, we searched some out and we found a vintage pair that is going to be perfect. It needs a lot of work and we are restoring them with all original parts, which was quite hard to do. The brand, Doc Martens. Let's go. Now guys, I'm really excited about this particular pair of Doc Martens. Now, this is a pair from the 1990s, um, which was really the heyday of the Doc Martin. Um, you know, I grew up in the 90s, and I remember rocking these things all the time throughout my high school, middle school days. So, everyone had them. Um, but as you can see, they're really starting to show their age. Um, there's a lot of wear on the uppers. Uh, we're going to take care of a lot of that. We're gonna re-dye these. The soles are a bit worn. We're gonna cut those off. And again, we're gonna be using original parts on this pair. So let's get to this pair of docks. Okay, let's get the laces out of here and then we're gonna start cleaning up the uppers. Okay, so one of the interesting things about the Doc Martin sole is that there are no stitches or threads that hold this sole onto the, onto the welt portion of it. So it is actually melted on at the factory using fire. And I don't know, we may do something like that later on today, we'll see. Okay, so soles off. Uh, you can see the little pad that was in here that's been pushed down. It's old, we're gonna replace that. The wooden shank, uh, which is really interesting that they use wooden shanks. We've got new ones of those that we're gonna put in here. And uh, like I said, let's just keep going and uh, get the original stuff back in. The original yellow stitch, that iconic yellow stitch that goes around on the welt, it's a little funky, so we are gonna replace that with some more vibrant yellow. This welt is actually stitched on with a chain stitch, which is a very old stitch, but it's just each little loop 
is wrapped over the next loop like this. And once you pop one, the whole thing can come out. Anybody out there feeling nostalgic yet? So I really got my introduction to Doc Martens in the uh, kind of early mid nineties. We, we moved to Europe and I got my first pair when I was 14, some black low tops. And then uh, a couple years later, I got some of the brown, uh, what, probably like a eight inch, six inch boot. We used to rock those with some silver tabs. Good times. Like I said, a chain stitch. Okay guys, I'm gonna start sanding down the leather. Uh, these are pretty, these are in pretty rough shape. So I'm gonna put a little lotion on here before I sand them. And then I'm just gonna take several different uh, grits of sandpaper and just work over this and uh, then we'll dye them. Okay, so I've sanded these down about as good as I'm going to be able to get for as deep as a lot of these, uh, a lot of these were. Um, now I'm just going to singe some of these threads off, and then I'm going to re-dye the boots. All right, so I'm putting the shoe cream on with my hand, um, and I like doing that right now just because I can apply it faster to the whole surface. Uh, but you know, you can use a cloth, you can use a dauber. How you apply your shoe cream is really up to you. Um, just in case you get, you know, people are asking in their heads right now.
Okay, so we normally put on a new welt, but this is a special welt. This is PVC welt. And the reason for that is because it will melt with the sole. And so I've got my new ribbon, uh, my, sorry, ribbon thread. And one thing I like to do is toughen it up a little bit. It's not really necessary like the originals, but I like to do it. So I run it through shoemaker's wax. It's a little bit of tallow and beeswax, heat it up, run the thread through it, and it just bonds it and makes it stronger. And if you're wondering why I'm using a wooden shank, it's because the original had a wooden shank. And in this video, we're going to put it back original. This is just acetone to clean off any oil residue, chlorine that is on the PVC. All right, so we're gonna rough this up just a little bit. You want it still pretty smooth. We just want a little bit more for the glue to hold on to. And then we'll go over this also with acetone to get any of the chlorine and, and stuff that's still on there, get that cleaned up and allow the glue to really adhere to this. Just goofing, new boot goofing. All right, before we stick these soles, who knows what that was from? If you know where it's from, leave it in the comments below.
So we told you guys that we were going to use original parts and Heath and I searched far and wide trying to find the original Doc Martin soles. Um, if you've watched a lot of videos of Doc Martin repairs on YouTube, uh, you'll see that a lot of guys are using just the Vibram Christie soles. And we really, really wanted to find Doc Martin soles. Well, we happened to see a uh, Rose Anvil video and a Stridewise collaboration video. We do watch you guys and uh, we saw a comment and one of the pinned comments was talking about uh, asking if Heath and I uh, repair Doc Martens. And someone left a comment underneath there saying, hey, there's a guy called the Key Cobbler out of England and he uses original soles. Bam, we saw that. We reached out to Chris, who owns the Key Cobbler Shop in King Kendall, England, and he was nice enough to hook us up with these original soles. So we've got the lug sole there. That's the one that we're using on today's video. And then we've got the original here. So a big shout out to Chris again at the Key Cobbler. He has his own YouTube channel, so guys, check it out as well. And if you want to have Doc Martens redone with the original parts, it's a bit of a flight for you uh, USA guys, but you can always send them overseas to the Key Cobbler. So again, thanks Chris for the original parts. All right, so the originals have these little lines going all the way around. Now that's actually done with an edger, which I don't have, but the gentleman in England, he does. We wanted a little bit of texture, so we just went with a 24 grit sandpaper and left it a little rough. Now we're gonna hit this thing with some fire, fuse these two together, and give that classic glazed look. Now the original uh, at the factory, they do go around and they don't use cement. Theirs are strictly held together by melting the PVC welt to the PVC sole. So we're gonna use glow and we're also gonna use fire. All right, guys, the last thing we're going to do is just put a couple of coats of wax on these, just make them, you know, polished up a bit and uh, throw some new laces on here and they will be all done. We are done with this pair of Doc Martens, but I wanted to throw one quick thing at you guys before we show you the final uh, reveal. If you were not uh, aware of our collaboration with Nick's Boots last spring, uh, they did so well that Nick's has offered to put the boots back out for a second run. So starting today, those boots will be on sale at Nick's Boots website and we'll put all of that information down below. Uh, they come in several different leather colors. Uh, rough, out, rough out, all smooth, and two-tone. Yeah, and again, if you're not familiar with it, it's just a boot that Heath and I came up uh, with Nick's last year or, or last spring. Uh, just kind of our taste mixed with the quality and ruggedness of Nick's. And uh, you know, like I said, they were pretty popular, sold in a lot of them, and Nick's agreed to do another run. So again, guys, if you're interested in purchasing a pair of those boots or checking them out, again, the link will be down below. Uh, what else? What'd we do to this pair of Doc Martens? All right, 
original docks, old school docks. You know, there's the new ones and there's the old ones, and the old ones are the better ones. Um, these are some made in England's back in the 90s, mm -hmm. and we want to really focus on doing these the way that they would have been done at the factory in Northampton, which was with that original Doc Martin sole. The only tweak to that is we put an original Doc Martin sole, but we switched to that lug tread. Mm -hmm. uh, you can get those in the original ones that have the lines going across the bottom. But again, we, uh, we had to source these out of England and um it was hard to find these yeah, you know it, it took it took a comment from you guys on another video to help us find where we could we can get these original yeah, souls it's on the trail they're not easy to track down but anyways so again uh just we we stripped them down completely uh re-dyed these boots took out the old thread new yellow thread all the way around uh put in uh new wooden shanks like the originals um the front pads yeah, new which front was pads. all original and then um, then just put the the original uh but again we went with the lug and that's put some it. fire to them yeah and that it, was yeah, fun we did the fire so i hope you and guys enjoyed it uh if you if you enjoyed this video then please guys it always does mean a lot to us if you'll like the video subscribe to the channel and, and share the video with other people that's how we get the video to you know be pushed out to more folks and, and shared so we'd really appreciate it that's about it yep. till next time y'all have a good one